Well, hello, my fabulous friends. I hope you're doing well. Something a little bit different for you today, and that's what I like to do on our Mysteries channel. I am going to explain to you what the next 200 years are going to be like. Now, there is something called a grand conjunction, and it's a grand conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn, and it only happens once every 20 years. Now, these, it, what happens is, is that for 20 years, for 200 years, they meet in the same element, meaning uh, earth, water, air, or fire. The last 200 years, they have met in an earth sign. For the first time since 1405, on December 21st, 2020, they met in an air sign. So for the next 200 years, we are going to be in an air sign, what they call the grand mutation. And every 200 years, it it flips. So in the next 200 years from now, in uh, 2120, or 2220, right? Because that's about 200 years. uh, They'll meet in water for the first time, in a water sign for the first time. So on December 21st, 2020, it was a very magical day for this this grand mutation to happen because it was also the winter solstice in or in North America, summer solstice in South America and South Hemisphere. (laughs) I told you I reverse things and whatnot. Um, And so it was only that. And think what we were doing in 2020. That was when the Who Flung Flu was around. And how was the Who Flung Flu spread? Are they so they said by air? And what was rolled out? A needle. Now, we have to remember planets don't wear watches. It's actually, um, think of it as sunsets and sunrises. So the sun sets, I mean, then you have twilight, and then finally the sun is gone and the night takes over. But there's that little, there's that time. It's not day and it's not night. And same thing in the morning, the sky starts to lighten, but there's no sun yet. So we think about what happened December 21st, 2020, and we have our airborne, so-called airborne, and you needed a needle with magic juice in it to stop it, among other things. I'm going to get to that in a moment. So how does this apply to tarot? Well, the air is swords, and swords are words. And I'm going to show you how this is starting to take hold in our society and on Earth. So we're a good, solid four years into air and we only have 196 years to go approximately i think it's actually like 197 something like that but we're sticking with 200 because we like to keep things simple here all right uh some of my archaics uh friends would uh, would be interested in the next time there's a grand conjunction between jupiter and saturn is in 2040 and we all know what's happening in 2040 Uh, So some of you who are into astrology might want to tell us that exact date that that's going to happen. Put it that down in the comments. I, first of all, full full disclosure, I barely know enough about astrology just to be dangerous with it. I'm starting to take an astrology course because I'm starting to really understand the correspondences, uh, not only the archetypes in the court cards, um, but I'm starting to really, when I when I look at stuff like this, I see the correspondences between tarot and um, what's what the sky is trying to tell us, what patterns are reemerging. So, not since 1405 have we been in a air grand mutation. So that grand mutation actually was in Aquarius. And Aquarius is the star card. And Aquarius is ruled by Saturn. Look at look at all the nudeness here that YouTube's going to give me a spanking for. And Uranus, or Uranus, 
<laughs> and the fool is Uranus. Now you think about that, this bug, this so-called bug, so you think of all these as being, you know, the who flung flu affected the whole world. After that hit, December, after the, that we, the, the start of the grand mutation. So in 20 years from now, it's going to move into Libra. And, um, and Libra is Venus. Libra is ru ruled by Venus. Now, in 20 years from now, we have the Justice card. We have Libra here. And I did the reading what's going to happen in May 2040. And it showed that there's going to be big um, lockdowns again, military. Uh, you know, I think we're going to be into... Um, a lot of military action that way. And when I saw this justice card and the Empress here, well, the, the, this is the earth mother as well. And this is, this could also be called Gaia if you believe in that kind of stuff. So is something going to happen to earth to cleanse the earth of what's going on? And then 20 years after that, we are in Gemini time. Are we back to Adam and Eve after the 2046? Do we have a Mercury here? Do we have to recreate? Look at all these air signs. They're all nudie. <laughs> I didn't realize, realize that before. Uh, Gemini is Mercury, which is the magician. So are we going to be back to a Adam and Eve type of situation where we're back... Um, starting all over again. I just thought that would be interesting, especially for some of the archaics uh, people. But let's get to, so anyways, that cycle repeats for 200 years. And it's interesting that, that once in a while, Jason will mention in 200 years, we've gone from horse and buggy to, you know, the Haldron. Look at that. The clock agrees with me. So what can we expect during this air time? And this is going to blow your mind. So remember, swords are air and words. So what are words? These are thoughts. These are words we actually speak. This is communication and truth. Truth. Look at all, look at, look at all since 2020, all the um, truthers. Did anybody hear of any, I mean, sure, maybe the fringe elements heard of truthers before 2020, but when everything came out about the the magic juice and the who flung flu and um, the lockdowns and all of that, who came to the forefront? The truthers, the truthers, the people who had the truth about things, the people who had the truth about things. Also, what's happened since then, we've had a change of the crown. Here are people, look at how it divided us between those who wanted the uh, magic juice and those who didn't. And there was no in between. And look at, here's the mask. Sure, it's over her eyes, but it's still, it's the, it's the mask. Look at, all, what did all that magic juice do? Look at all the heart problems. Look at all the things that came up about um, pericarditis. Um, what's the other one? Pericarditis and something else. And they called it the clot shot. Uh, people were were suddenly um, unalive. Look at the sick card, the sick bed, the... the uh, the um, like the sick bed. This is my sick bed card. Now, like I said, there's only two ways off the sick bed card, and that's either feet down or feet first. And look at this. Did we have like three boosters before? How many people had three or four boosters, and they still didn't make it out? Then we had some bullying going on and we had people walking away from all of this. And yet we still had people, we had, how many people had lost friends and family, lost their job, 
the bullying really went on then as well. And then some people actually had to move on. They actually had to leave their their uh, place of residence for work, for freedoms. And uh, hands up, that was one of us. We had to move for uh, my husband's work. We were no longer allowed to live where we were living for six years. Uh, we had to move to somewhere uh, for his work. And then we had, look at the um, the strategies that went on. Here we are, we're up to five boosters, five. And now, peop, now they're wondering about people asking about things. And they're almost looking like, you know, do we redo, do we, you know, take back some of the, the things that had happened? Um, do we, you know, do we see if they'll do one more? I remember um, my father in particular being absolutely livid, livid because they were on a wait list for the fifth booster. Absolutely terrified that they were going to die without that fifth booster. And you can almost see the smirk on their face that they're getting away with this. That they're getting away with this fear of giving people fear. And some people, you think of these two here still wore their mask, still asked you to stand six feet away. And they're sneaking away with what they've done. And now we've got the Eight of Swords. We've got people who now have uh, extreme damage from uh, some of these, allegedly for entertainment purposes only. Remember, I'm just doing tarot card reading. I'm not a scientist. I'm not a psychologist. I'm not even a truther. I'm just a tarot card reader. And uh, look at the people are now realizing they've been victimized. They've been bamboozled. They've been, um, they've lost jobs. They've lost businesses. And it was all due to their own um, compliance. Their own compliance. Uh, you, know, you know, there's huge, huge groups of people who regret everything that went on and there's you go on to Twitter and whatnot and you get like never again and people are really starting to stand up and realize they're looking back now and go wow so I ever stupid for falling for that so they're feeling like a bit of a victim here and now here's the um now here's the anxiety people have about what they took what you know um, maybe, maybe their business eventually did crash. Uh, maybe they've never caught up. I know many people who actually had to dip into their, uh, retirement savings and now they're in the early sixties and now they can't retire. They have to recover that money, but they, but inflation is so bad. They're having a hell of a time recovering all that money that they needed to take out to live for, for two years. And uh, a lot of people have anxiety. A lot of people have anxiety. Something else is coming. Um, and and there's just a lot of anxiety going on. And then we have the Ten of Swords. And I call this my alcoholic or my drug addict card. Uh, you've hit rock bottom. And I think I've mentioned before, I was talking to my doctor about how many people um, that COVID had, that they, that he directly attributes to the, the lockdowns and whatnot. Uh, he said he's never seen so many alcoholics, uh, so much depression, uh, so many people, so many suicides. Also, we are getting, um, just this last week, my husband and I heard of two people, they're both their mothers have four stage cancer, um, like out of the blue out of the blue, like, like, like they're like, what? You were, you, you were fine. Like, honestly, one of them is six months ago, went for her yearly checkup. Everything was fine. Shows up at the, at the hospital, can't breathe, has a bad cough. Kids thought it was maybe COVID or something. Stage four cancer. She'll be gone in two weeks. Absolutely bizarre what's going on. And there's actually, you know, you can follow some things or died suddenly. Look at young people who, there was that young, beautiful ballerina died suddenly. Uh, it's, it's, 
uh, a tragedy what what has gone on so that's the pips and that's my um i'm just showing you what has happened there with one situation and here is the page of swords bringing us news here's the um attacking here's the queen of swords saying uh this is you know you must do this and the king of swords is the politicians that went along with everything so it just this just shows you the big people that were involved with it all it started as you know facebook groups uh twitter um you know little here's the news articles every night on the news the covid um stats every night you had to hear the stats i mean there was in your face attack 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 fear 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 and then we have you know the the um you know you have to have it to work you have to have it to enter this this restaurant here's all the conditions and then here's the politicians that went along with it okay so that's one um scenario i'm going to talk about now what is happening to society since then and we're going to see that more in these in these words what has exploded since then AI, AI, we are in air, we are in the time of words, communication. How many people, where, before 2020, was anyone ever jailed for a Facebook post, for a mean tweet? Were they ever investigated by the police for a Facebook post or, or um, a mean tweet or were they jailed for that? Look at the politicians that are bringing in, taking away our communications, our ability for free speech. Here they are attacking people. Here's the Facebook post that maybe you just liked or retweeted or or something, right? Because the page of swords is my internet card and that's our little, you know, Instagram, uh, Facebook, Twitter, all of those, Reddit, blah, blah, blah. Here's the attack. Here comes the police. What did you say? Here comes the charges. You can't say that. That's hate crime. That's you can't do that. And here's our politicians backing it up, passing laws, passing laws to make sure to take away our freedom of speech. We can see this. This is clearly happening in the UK right now. This is clearly happening in Canada right now. They're really trying hard to pass some laws. The politician is trying very hard to pass some laws, uh, communication laws. You know what else we're going to find? We're going to find the growth of truthers. We're going to find, and we're going to find more splitting over ideas. And, um, and, and never the twain shall meet. We're going to find that more and more and more. Uh, because we're in air and these two swords don't touch. And the only way to get over this roadblock, this stubbornness, is somebody has to put down their sword so they can take their, their blinders off. So who's going to be the first to put down their, their ideas and just be open to seeing other ideas? It's not going to happen for 200 years. This is going to be a time of um, of mean words um where it, it's all communication it's all um well let's look at what swords f swords look after in your body well that's your brain and your nervous system and your lungs so we might find more of that happening we might find more uh brain diseases and people have been warning about uh, cell phones, talking on your cell phone, creating brain tumors, allegedly for entertainment purposes only. Again, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a specialist. I'm just reading tarot cards. Um, so more brain things. Look at the outbreak in younger and younger people getting ALS. Look at the um, celebrities that have MS, that have um, uh, Parkinson's. Look at, we're going to see a lot more, and this just could be the aging population that we have of Alzheimer's, of dementia. We're going to see more bullying by laws, 
we're going to see more bullying by, um, you watch, our freedom of speech is really going to be locked down uh, in this next 200 years. We're going to be monitored. Um, you know, you think about that they could blow up a pager. Well, if you don't think they could blow up your phone or monitor your phone, they're, they're doing that right now. We might see in the next 200 years more the bully uh, report or bullying by what you can say, what you can't say. Um, you may have to be offline, actually, to speak freely, to speak freely. I think we're going to see more people move around uh, to get out of those kind of things. I think we're going to see more cyber crimes. We're going to definitely see more, more cyber crimes. Absolutely. That's words. That's ideas. That's communication. Internet is ruled by air. Um, some people say the internet's ruled by um, uh, fire because it's electricity. And electricity is fire. You need electricity for the internet. Well, we're in air. I, you know, I think we might see more along the lines of air wind power coming in. Solar power to me would be more fire. I think we're going to see more air, more wind power. We could possibly even see more wind, uh, more air troubling, more wind um, events like tornadoes and hur hurricanes and whatnot. We could absolutely see more wind uh, things happening. I think we're going to see absolutely an outbreak of mental illness 100% and we're going to see we're going to continue to see much more um, self-inflicted addictions, alcoholism, drug abuse, um, overspending. That's your thoughts. Gambling. That's your thoughts. Uh, even though money is controlled by uh, pentacles, the way you think about money is controlled by air, by your thoughts, your words, your mindset. I think we're going to see more self-inflicted um, unaliving. I think we're going to see a lot more, a lot more um, mental illness, a lot more, a lot more anxiety. Uh, we're going to see more victimhood, unfortunately. We're going to see a lot more uh, wokeness. I, I think we're going to see people feeling like victims. Oh, my, my person didn't win, so you, you know, you must be terrible right? Um, we're going to see people not taking responsibility in that for their actions. And that's going to be creating uh, the mental illness and the and the ruin. Uh, we're definitely going to see more scams, uh, more, more people trying to take, take things away from you. And the thing is, is that a lot of people think, well, all they just take is money. No, they take your self confidence. They take your self-esteem. They they make you feel like a victim. And, you know, and they actually, you know, you think about it, some of the things that happen online, uh, you know, the, um, especially with the SEX crimes, how many people end up, how many young people end up um, unaliving themselves because of the bullying online we're gonna see much 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 more trolling and bullying online and again they don't take away just you know you don't just lose money you lose your self-esteem you lose your self-confidence you don't you, you feel like you'll never get over this everybody seems to forget this too shall pass so we're gonna see more of that in the next 200 years that i think um uh, we're, we're definitely going to see more betrayal. I know that sounds harsh, uh, but we're definitely going to see, we're going to be betrayed by, well, look at what's happening with the P. Diddy case right now. You're, and all of a sudden you're realizing your favorite stars are actually creeps. You know, your favorite celebrities are actually terrible, terrible people. You know, that kind of betrayal. You're going to find out that your politicians the corruption going on with your favorite politician. You're going to find that. Um, I think we're going to see, we're, we're definitely, 
that is, it's going to be a double-edged sword. You think of Gemini and you think of Libra with the balances. We're definitely going to see um, the truth, even though we're going to see more corruption and we're going to, uh, you know, see more bullying and whatnot. We're also going to see more truth and that's going to be the balance of it. It's not going to be all bad. It's not going to be all bad. Um, air certainly isn't the, the snuggliest <laughs> uh, um, uh, of, of all the elements, that's for sure. They're actually very logical, very, um, they can be uh, cold hearted, but they really aren't. They're, they're logical. And, and it, so it feels like it's cold hearted. You know, it's, it's the tough love crowd. Honestly, it is. It's the tough love crowd. And I think we're going to definitely see more of that. I think we're going to see more tough love. And I think in some regards, um, they're going to say, oh, well, we have to shut that, this down for the good of the masses. Uh, and, and I think we're going to see more things that are for the masses rather than the individual. It's going to be, well, this is, you know, this is better for the masses. Um, what else was I going to tell you? We're definitely going to see some healing. We're And it's going to be surprise healing. We're definitely, especially these first 20 years, I got to cover that, you know, maybe, <laughs> I hope YouTube doesn't come down harder on that before you know what I can't show a bare arm or something. Um we're definitely going to see the end of some diseases in the next, well, now we're four years deep. So but before the next conjunction, which is in Libra, uh, we're definitely going to see some, um, some, some airborne diseases being uh, a cured. And it's actually going to be kind of surprising which ones they find that they, because we have the world card here, so it completes those. So maybe there will be like a, um, some type of cure for for the flu or the common cold or, you know, something that's airborne like that. And it's definitely something airborne or bacterial. This could also be bacteria. So I think they're going to come out with something that is actually going to be somewhat shocking because this is ur Uranus and uh, we are right now in this. And it's almost like um, they have to attack something fast. And and it's it's actually going to be really amazingly shocking how easy it will be to uh, cure this. It might have something to do with water, actually. Interestingly enough, because we're in air and water is next. So I think in the next 20 years, for sure, we're, for sure, we're going to see because this is hope and healing. So I think some kind of um, something is it's not a cancer because that's my devil card. Uh, that would be it's definitely something air, like bacteria, virus, um, something like that. Something like that. Something that is air because we are in air. It could be something that affects the brain. It could be something that affects the uh, nervous system. Or it could be something that affects the lungs. But there will definitely will be some kind of cure. Surprising cure. It's almost found by accident. Innocently found by accident. All right. I wish it was cancer, but it's not going to be. Um... What else do, what else can I say? I think we're going to see more of um, people rising up in the next, uh, in the next 20 years. We're going to definitely see more protests. We're going to see more people rising up. I think we're going to see more military action in the next 20 years. Um, what else? And I think... That's about it for the next 20 years. And then I'm going to, let's just hang on here. Um, yeah, Knight of Swords, so I got that. Yeah, that's five, six, seven. Yeah, I think that's, uh, we're, yeah, this is the bullying we're going to see. 
we're definitely going to see um, some bullying going on. Uh, we're definitely going to see some people moving about the world to to go live in peace to go live in peace. I don't think this is the big migration that's going on right now because of with women, children, and we don't have that right now. I think we may see something that it, people are going to move where it's safe for women and children, that they can live in peace. But we're definitely, the cyber crimes are going to explode and bullying online is going to explode in the next 20 years. Um, and then we'll we'll finally get justice for it once it gets into Libra. We'll go into a much gentler time. And of course, that's after the next Phoenix event. All right. All right. So that's my predictions coming up. I just wanted to also mention, so the last 200 years was Earth. And, and you think about like the Earth is, of course, Taurus. Think of all the um, advances in agriculture. Uh, Virgo uh, advances in health and work, and this is when um, in, in, in the Industrial Revolution came in, and then, of course, Capricorn, and Capricorn is our billionaires. Think of all the billionaires, that, the business that has come in in the last 20, 200 years. The, uh, you can even put the, um, the Gilded Age in those last 200 years, the amount of money that has uh, floated around the earth in the last 200 years, the innovations, the railroads, the roads, the building, the mining, the oil, pulling oil out of the ground. Um, you know, just even all the minerals, the rare earth minerals and whatnot that we've that we've discovered. You think about that the last 200 years what uh, all the earth sign things that we have um, accumulated. So we could almost say in the next 200 years, money's not going to be that big of a, um, it's not going to be as important as it has been in the last 200 years of accumulation, right? That's earth accumulation, accumulation, accumulation. This is going to be, we're going to see more online businesses uh, we're going to see um, uh, maybe me. I mean, this could be Bitcoin. It's in the Internet. It is on the earth. But I would be really careful with it. This is I'm not afraid. Well, I am a financial advisor, but I'm not advising you because we do have the nine and ten of swords in here. So there's going to be a lot of people um, really upset. Uh, so there's there might be something new. There might be something new, but we talk about the digital age. I've done the reading on the digital age and how the governments are going to come in and uh, make sure we all have digital IDs. That's for sure going to happen, for sure going to happen. And interestingly enough, um, the banking ID or whatever has fallen apart in Canada because banking money is earth. The banking digital, I can't remember what, you guys will know it. Somebody's probably typing it right now. Um, it's fallen apart in Canada. And so the banking digital IDs, well, bank money is earth. And when I just say money's not going to be as important as we move into um, air, I think our digital, our social um, account that they have in, in China right now, I think that's going to be more important. I think we're going to come up with a whole new way to exchange good and services that we possibly can't see right now. Because you think about it, 200 years ago, could they possibly see cell phones or, you know, even checks? They didn't have checks 200 years ago. They had, um, uh, or wiring money. They had horse and uh, carriages with guards dragging silver all over the place. And, you know, you think about it. it, it eventually started with checks, but checks were around for how long? And then it finally turned to uh, instant tellers and, and blah, blah, blah. And I think we're, we're going to see a big, by the net, by 200, in 200 years, there'll be something completely different, completely different. Um, 
Let's see, what else? What else can I see? Anyways, we are in air and we're already four years deep into it. And we can already see the effects of it and how it's going to shape our our world. So I want you to think of this. If you're starting a business, we're in air. That's words. If you want to become a doctor, um, you know, psychiatry, anything to do with brain, anything to do with the nervous system, anything to do with lungs is going to explode in the next little while. Um, I'm really interested about the, psych the psychiatry uh, just simply because of all the transgender and whatnot that we have. I think we're going to see a lot of those I, um, actual physical changes stop. Uh, yes, that's an idea, but you're changing your physical body and you're changing things that aren't lungs, nervous system, or brain. Do you know what I mean? Uh, so I, we might see that start to peter off and uh, that, that I think that's going to um, actually create a lot of this nine and ten of swords of what the hell have I done? And we're already starting to see that turn. Um, I think we're going to see a lot of things about mindset, about, you know, how thoughts are things. Um, I think we're going to see a lot about that. And those of you who've taken my course, you know what the swords are. All the swords are double-edged sword. Uh, so we can look forward to that as well. And so, yeah, so the, that's why I thought it was important that, you know, we are now in this air. So don't fight AI. As the saying goes, AI is not going to take over your job, but somebody who knows AI may. Uh, so AI is here to stay. Get over it. It's not dangerous. All it is is a comp they've compiled all the information over the years, you know, all those Facebook posts, you know, all those Facebook messages that you did, Twitter, whatever, all they were doing were, were compiling human um, uh, grammar, how humans talk to each other. They've compiled everything on the internet. It does not have a brain of its own. It can't hurt you. It's just, um, it's just information, right? Look at that. The clock agrees with me. Uh, so, so if you're looking for a change, uh, something on the internet, do online businesses, uh, something with AI, think of air, think of air, um, air scrubbers, maybe, um, uh, maybe something to do with wind power, uh, you know, so it, you can go on and on and on with that. Um, and uh, take it from there. So we are in this air. And I just want to also point out we are very lucky, very, very few people actually get to experience two epochs like that, right? We are so lucky. We, it's a privilege to be alive at this time that we got to experience the earth uh, grand mutation and now we get to experience the air one because it only the switch only happens every 200 years and you think about how lucky it is to be alive at this time we experienced 1999 and 2000 and now we're experiencing going from earth uh, to air we are all here for a divine purpose and maybe this purpose is to help usher in this next uh, grand mutation that we're in and uh, take our lessons from the earth and bring them into the air rather than children who are just born in this air time. Uh, they'll have completely different um, ideas. Uh, they won't they, because they didn't experience the earth part of it. So they're going to need our balance, especially once we move into the Libra part of it. That's where our balance can come in and go, whoa, 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 whoa. You know, I know that sounds great right now, but people have to eat, <laughs> right? So anyways, so just think of that. What a privilege. So I hope you enjoyed this little lesson. It wasn't a tarot reading per se. Uh, it's just letting you know where we're going and how tarot can help you uh, find out what the next, um, the next few steps are. All right. Please take good care of yourself. We'll see you online. Bye for now. <coughs> Mm-hmm.